tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. If she ain't foreign, then she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own, I call it independent, shawty. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here for day seven of the 25 days of giveaway here on the channel for autographs formula drift posters we're here on forces seven to do something but before we get into the game content for today uh, it's time to reveal which poster this video will be for so if you want a chance to win the poster that i'm about to announce make sure that you comment down on this video down below as well as be a subscriber and like this video the poster that i've been giving away on this video is the autographed poster card of ken the goose gooshy in that beautiful gritty toyota 86 it's an amazing car and uh it's just one of the nastiest sounding cars all those cars are actually extremely nasty sounding so if you want a chance to win the Ken Gucci autograph poster card. Make sure you comment down in this video down below. I just knocked my controller off. Make sure you comment on the video down here as well as like the video because that's how you enter yourself in to win the Ken Gucci autograph poster. Now we're here today, if you didn't know us by the title, figure out to talk about am I going to be competing in ESDA? Uh, the thought has come across my mind that I would like to compete in ESDA in the 2018 season. Uh, will I be able to do every round? I don't know. It's depending on the scheduling. So today we're going to do another drift build. Trying to maybe find a car that we'd like to use in ESDA if we decide to, you know, compete. I don't have all the rules yet, so we're going to do kind of like what I believe the rules are going to be set for. So, we're going to have to go uh, buy a car. I have a car in mind. Now we do have all these free cars from uh, the car pack that we have not picked up yet. Definitely gonna have to pack pick all these up just for I don't believe collector score is not that great on these, but we will have to pick these up, especially this Porsche, because you know I'm definitely gonna want to drive that. So for the recommendations, not that great. So I'm thinking we're going to do a build on a m2 uh, i do like the m2s they are pretty nice and stable so we're going to see about doing a build here on this m2 you know get into the nitty-gritty of the settings there's a lot of different liveries but i think we're just going to go with the basic why does that one have the wheel turn that's cool that's different why why is that one different than everybody else i don't get it but okay we're going to keep the stock colors though Oh, I actually want to buy that and go into colors. We're going to keep the stock blue because the stock blue is amazing on this car. Buy that car. Install stock parts. Thank you very much. So, if you guys are enjoying your holiday season, if you guys are starting your Christmas shopping or whatnot, let me know down in the comment section down below because you know what? That actually registers you as well. And to uh, let you guys know, there's been some people commenting multiple comments on the videos that actually does not like give you multiple chances to win. It, it will pick only one of the comments from your name, but I do appreciate all the comments. So continue to comment on the videos because I do respond to almost all of them if I can. So now we're going to get into the build here on this M2. We're going to go to the upgrade shop. Of course, we're going to put on the BMW aero kits with the black grills. Uh, the little uh, BMW spoiler, which these things are extremely expensive. Trust me, I know. I work for BMW. I've installed this full setup on an M2 before, and it ain't cheap. All right, so continuing on the build, I believe we can only run sport tires. So we're going to put sport tires on. We're going to keep 245s. And 265s. We're going to keep the brake size, but we're going to definitely change the wheels. Um, what am I feeling for wheel types? I think he's. Those, uh, maybe the, those are nice. Uh, let's see here. What do I want to put on you? Ooh, maybe some HREs. Kind of look like the stock wheels. Little splits. 
Uh, I'm not. I don't know what. I, oh well. Those don't look half bad. We'll go with those for right now. We may end up changing the wheels up. Go with those for now. That's it. We're gonna keep the stock tire size. We're gonna go into drivetrain. Of course, we're gonna do full clutch. Full race transmission, so we can adjust it based on where we're driving. Stage two diff. And then we go into, of course, we're going to want full brakes so we can adjust braking pressure. Uh, we're going to put it on race suspension for full adjustability. I am not going to do sway bars. If you follow me on the channel, you know I do not use sway bars. Personal preference. Uh, some people say that I could be making a mistake, but I feel like I don't want to run sway bars. We're going to drop it down to 3,000 pounds. Not going to do a full weight reduction. Now we get into the power. We're at 365, so we're going to throw a race intake. I don't think there's a power cap with these cars, so we're probably just going to fully blow this car up with power. Because I know I've heard that some people are running 900 horsepower. Some people are running way more than that. So we're going to be throwing as much power in this M2 as we can. I believe it's going to be somewhere around... 700 my calculations would be correct yep 704 i was pretty almost spot on with that 723 okay maybe it was a little off but close enough 734 and then we'll throw the flywheel in and now we gotta go so we got that pretty much done so now we gotta go and install our uh not install we got to tune the car so we're going to leave the tire pressures at 28, 27. We'll have to adjust that. We'll leave that. We'll figure that out afterwards. We're going to do a basic style tune and then adjust from there. This is usually how I do all of my tuning. And then we go from there. We're going to soften this thing up to get the best transitions possible in my mind. Maybe you guys have a different style of tuning, but... This is how I start off all my tuning. Ooh, this thing gets really low. We're not gonna drop it completely. We want a little bit of height. Not a crazy amount of height, but drop this in there, drop this in there. All right, brakes. We're gonna have to lower the brake pressure down. We're gonna kick this up, kick this up as well. Hopefully this works for now. So we're going to do that basic tune. Now we're going to hit the track, give it a test run, and then uh, we will uh, adjust it from there. So we're going to probably just start at Maple Valley. Are we in a drift? We are in a drift. All right. So we're going to get the wheel cam all turned on and get this thing started. So I will see you guys when, when it's ready to load. All right, so we're here at Maple Valley in our M2. We got our Logitech G920, Energy Innovations wheel, hydraulic handbrake, Logitech shifter in our Logitech, not Logitech, in our Energy Innovation seat. And there we go. Let's throw this in, just see how the basic tune works. Ooh, that's not bad. Pretty good feedback from the wheel. A little bit. We need to, we're gonna have to adjust that toe and everything a little bit, I feel. We're still holding that points on strong though. 15k. Don't lose that though. Ow, that's uh That's probably the best run through that sweeper I've had. Okay, this M2 might be going somewhere. Like I said, we're gonna have to tweak this a little bit because I can feel a little bit in the front that I need to tweak a little bit. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, so we're going to go adjust the settings a little bit. Because I can feel the front wanting to be a little bit wonky. So we're going to go into tuning. Leave the tire pressures, leave the gearing. We're going to increase this to 1.5, decrease this a little bit to probably 6.7, probably knock the camber down a little bit as well. 
And then... I think... That is going to do it. Go with that. We'll give this a shot now again. And see uh, how this works this time. That first sweeper though was pretty good on this car. It felt it felt pretty good. It wasn't as stable as I'd like it to be. Especially if I would use this car in ASDA. I gotta get a very stable platform that I'm comfortable in. That's better. Yep. But there's an over rotation that I'm worried about. But the car has power. It's got the power. But I don't think the suspension is right on. So we may. But then again. We may have to take this to. Road Atlanta. And try the Road Atlanta section. And see how it does at Road Atlanta section. I believe they're going to be running Road Atlanta. So. We're going to run this. Run this out. Just tap. And we just wrecked our new beautiful drift car. Go. I mean, this thing holds. It definitely holds, but it, it, it's got a lot of snapback. I think it has to do something with these tires. Because I don't think I've ever really messed with sports tires. Yeah, that's... that's uh, We're going to adjust the tire pressures a little bit. All right, let's go and adjust our tire pressures ever so slightly. We're going to kick this up a little bit. All right, we're going to go with that. We need one more shot here, see if we can't get a good lap. And then we will uh, see how it plays in our favor with this car. Maybe messing with a couple more cars here soon, trying to find a car that I'm really comfortable in. I am really comfortable in that Alpha, so the Alpha is definitely on the top of my list right now. But this M2 does have a lot of power, but it's really twitchy. So I'm not sure I'd have to really mess with these things, but it, it's, it's a very good tune though. But it's really good for drifting and getting high amounts of points. But I don't think it would be great in tandem. Which is what I need to solely work on. Is try to get a car that would be good in a tandem environment. Which means of course I'm going to have to be getting some tandems. Just tap. I always tap that wall. Double clutch in. No brakes. There we go. I mean step 2 gets it. M2 definitely handles pretty well. Ooh, I am fighting a little bit on the wheel with the car, but I think it has to do with the grippy tires. It holds a massive amount of points, though. The angle and speed is just incredible with this car, though. It's maybe a uh, car that I uh, work on a little more for just, you know, drifting, you know, for points. Ooh, don't lose that. We have a good run. I'd like to see. What the points totals are on a very good run. There we go. Ooh, don't lose those points. Because I feel like this car is easily an extremely high points run. So we're going to try and get a good run with this next lap. Yeah, I don't think this car has a steering angle like it needs to. The steering angle is not really there. Not how I want it to be anyways. It could just be a characteristic of the car because I don't think the tuning would help that angle. So I'm gonna try and give it a go and get a good lap in here. fourth gear because this car likes fourth gear on the sweeper. There we go. Just holding those points. Nope. Don't lose it. Don't lose it now. 
Jeez, oh man. Just holding 17k, don't, 18k. I don't want to lose these points. 18,000 on that turn. It's probably, you know, there's probably people that have a lot higher points in that turn, but that was not bad. Part of those breaks. We don't have to. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Ah. Uh, we're just going to rewind for the sake of a points run. Because I know I can enter that turn a whole lot better. Alright, here we go. Slow down a little bit. Here we go. Here we go. Get out of the grass. Don't lose those. I'd be pissed. Ooh, you can see I am kind of throwing this car a lot and it's kind of fighting me, so I think there's a little bit of tuning that needs to be done on this car. The wheel does snap really quick with this car, though. It's probably just because of the tires. All right, so we're going to send this car to Road Atlanta and we'll see how it does. And then maybe we'll switch to the Alpha and see how the Alpha does. The Alpha is kind of underpowered. For what I th think I'm gonna need, so we may have to uh, come up with another car here and start building some other cars. Or is it Road Atlanta Drift? There we go. Thank you. Yes, switch it over. And wait for it to load so we can start and see how we do on the Road Atlanta circuit. I don't have high expectations right now for it. Um, but we will see. We may try that Corvette I have. C7. See if we can get a maybe a C7 build. We may just throw more power into that Alpha. I don't know yet. But I am going to be trying to build a car that's very stable. Get some tandems with some people. So I can uh, seri make serious considerations of competing in ESDA. This year. Because I feel like it would be a lot of fun. Be some good content. I'm sure you guys would enjoy seeing some ESDA on the channel. And uh who knows? Maybe I'll do better than I think I'm going to. This car just snaps so quick. I think that's the problem. It's it's snappy, and uh if you're not ready for it, it will definitely bite you. Oof. I have a feeling this car's not gonna do too well on this road Atlanta circuit. So, but well, we're still going to send it anyways because, you know, I need to get some practice. So, M2, or the land of circuit. All right, let's do it. Ooh, no, not too bad. A little deep out there. I didn't want to go that deep. And, nope, wrong gear. Yup, that was complete shit. That run was a complete disaster. I think I need to get it into second gear. I think third is a little too much. So we're gonna try and give it one more go here and then we'll probably switch to the Alpha. His M2 is just pretty too snappy for precision, but it's very good. I could probably mess with the tune and get it a little better. But for sake of time, I'm gonna have to mess with that a little bit more. Maybe if I can come out with a really good tune out, I'll let you guys know. There we go. That's better. And that was a really quick snap. That's the snap I'm talking about. Yeah, that snappy is really snappy. <laughs> So, we're going to switch up cars, we're going to throw the Alpha in, throw it one or two times down here at Road Atlanta. I definitely can see I'm going to need a lot more practice or a more dialed car if I'm looking to be any type of competitive in ESDA. But, you know, I'd be doing ESDA for fun. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys think I should build a car and compete in ESDA, let me know what you guys think. Maybe you guys think I'm complete crap and think I shouldn't waste my time and that would be rude and I would probably cry but you know probably not there's no room for negativity here, so let's rock the alpha this car I am pretty comfortable in 
I know you guys have seen this car in multiple videos, but the power is just not there. But I am pretty comfortable in the tune on this car. So we're gonna send it. I already feel a little bit more comfortable on the way this car handles where the lander right now, but will it handle the horseshoe or the keyhole? Whatever you want to call it. All right, here we go. Let's uh send it. Long initiation. That's a pretty slow initiation and a big straighten up there. But actually a lot better than the M2. Wow, we actually somewhat got a full run in this car. Um, I may have to seriously consider using maybe just upping the power on this Alpha a little more than it is. I don't know if I'm going to have to change the engine on it, which would change my weight distribution, but this car handles pretty well. Alright, here we go. One last run. As you guys know, you guys follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. If you guys want to see more builds like this, let me know down in the comments section down below as well. This is what you guys think about me competing in ESDA. That was a pretty shit run, but... Oh, I lost it. So, with that being said, until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy, cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision, and she ain't fun to see.